In this video, we're going to review some best practice techniques for effectively applying our new generation fluorine-free foams onto a fuel surface using non-aspirating and semi-aspirating handline devices. The key aim is to apply the foam in a way that will maximize the expansion of the foam blanket while also delivering it onto the fuel, causing the least disturbance of the surface. We will look at different methods and techniques of achieving this. Bounce off, sometimes referred to as bounce in. The objective of this technique is to use structures or items in the fire area, such as tanks, piping runs, pumps and drums, to fire the foam stream against, allowing it to expand further, slow down and fall onto the fire without causing disturbance to the fuel surface. In this example, we've chosen a couple of objects within the fire scenario. We're identifying a spot high up on the vessel to act as the bounce-off point. With the foam stream striking against the vessel, we see the foam raining down onto the fuel surface, causing very little disturbance and increasing the amount of aspiration in the foam. We're increasing the expansion on the foam blanket and slowing its delivery down, so we're not plunging into the fuel surface and compromising the foam blanket. As you can see here, that methodology is delivering a high-quality foam blanket that's very agile, very mobile, and will seal the fuel surface up very quickly. Something to be cautious of once you have selected the target obstacle is to keep the foam stream high enough on the obstacle to allow that foam to slow down and actually rain down onto the fuel surface. What we are trying to avoid in this technique is any type of plunging or gouging of the surface that would cause fuel disturbance and result in the foam blanket being compromised. Rain down. Just as it sounds, we're going to direct the stream above the fuel surface allowing it to run out of forward momentum and gently fall to the fuel surface as nicely aspirated, finished foam. One point to remember is always to use a colleague as a spotter when applying this technique, as it can be hard to determine where the foam is actually landing on the fuel surface and what that foam blanket looks like as it develops. At this point, the operator has placed his fingers into the stream. The objective is to help reduce the range of the stream and to create additional aspiration both of which help the effectiveness of that stream to deliver a gentle, well-aspirated foam blanket to the fuel surface. You can see that we have changed to using a semi-aspirating nozzle to deliver the stream. This particular nozzle is still delivering foam at a very low expansion, but you can see the improvement in the quality of the foam blanket being applied. Although these devices will result in a slightly reduced range of throw, they deliver a very nice quality, thick, aspirated foam blanket compared to the traditional non-aspirating hand line nozzles. Here, the operator has applied a deflector plate, similar to a blabbermouth device into the foam stream. The deflector plate is essentially working in a similar way to the fingers method you saw earlier, creating increased aspiration and an improved quality of foam blanket. Roll in, also known as roll on. This is a technique where the foam stream is aimed directly in front of the fuel surface. We want to start far enough away from the fuel, so that as we deliver the foam, it doesn't plunge into or disturb the fuel surface. We want to eliminate the movement of the fuel as much as possible. This method can be used on a multitude of surfaces. As long as there is enough initial space in front of the fuel to aim the foam stream onto, and allow it to then roll gently onto the surface of the fuel. As you can see, the firefighters are staying up on the hard surface, away from the fuel allowing the foam to run forward and roll gently onto the fuel without disturbing it or disrupting it. You can then see them sweeping the stream back and forth, trying to help develop the foam blanket. Here the firefighters are intentionally gouging the foam blanket to illustrate the aspiration or expansion that is achieved when delivering the foam in this method. So in this video, we have looked at three techniques for gently and effectively delivering fluorine-free foams onto a fuel surface using non-aspirating or semi-aspirating nozzles while still maximizing expansion and aeration. Bounce off, rain down, and roll on. As a reminder, we need to focus on avoiding gouging the foam blanket or plunging the stream directly into the fuel. We want to cause as little disturbance to the fuel surface as possible reducing the risk of spreading or moving the fuel surface further. Thank you for taking your time to watch the video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact Angus Fire.